Hello, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Al's Air Guns. This is the round two look at the Crossman 2240XL. I have been so impressed with the original unit we reviewed, I went ahead and ordered a second one, wanted to make some improvements as far as how we set it up. Also, we're going to do modifications to go ahead and increase power. And um, anyway, wanted to start with a benchmark as far as performance testing, velocity testing, so we can see if this pistol was indeed performing along the lines of what we saw before. Now in doing that I tested three pellets. Um, I did a thorough test with the H&M Barracudas where we started on a new CO2 cylinder and shot it out until velocity was falling off. Got approximately 30 35 shots out of that. We can talk about that later. Um, also did go ahead and put a few of the 16 grain uh, Predator polymags over the crony. Uh, these are the original. They're not the short version. Um, of course, they work just fine, and I'll share those readings with you as well. The other pellet we were taking a look at this time was the um, RWS, the Jumbo Exact, and these are uh, 15 point. 8.9 grain pellet. I should also mention the Barracudas are a 21.13 grain pellet. So these are much heavier than the normal 14.3 uh, grain 22 caliber pellets we tend to see. Part of why I was doing that was we saw so much power from the gun in the earlier um, episodes we did on it. I, With a CO2 gun, you will get to the, for the most part, your maximum or most efficient performance with a heavier projectile. CO2 is a large molecule. It's moving through the gun fairly slowly, but um, it also has a lot of force behind it, although as a gas, it uh, does not have as much velocity as something like compressed air. As a result, we can often get the most out of a CO2 power plant by increasing the diameter of the bore, giving it more area to push on. Thus, a 22 caliber is always going to come out more powerful than a 177 with a like power plant. And the other thing would be giving it more weight to push. Um, think of it as a slower, stronger person as opposed to a, a faster, leaner person in the case of pneumatics um, or uh, pre-charged uh, pneumatics. Um, so anyway, we um, went ahead, put some shots over the crony. Let's go ahead and take a look at the data. So thanks again for joining us in this episode. We look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you would be so kind as to um, like, subscribe, uh, comment. Uh, really enjoy the comments and always look forward to talking to all of you. Thanks again. Stay safe and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.